Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And I continue with Anachronox Blind. Now, apparently, the game has lied to me in a rather brazen way. As it turns out, I can uh, save manually. Uh, as you can see, if I quickly click Escape and just choose the save option, I can just save here without problem, uh, which is pretty great. I have, uh, I, have, I have talked at length why I dislike having limited save options. Um, so, so, so it's a pretty great uh, thing that I can save manually whenever I want. And with that being said, let's continue exploring this, which seems to be some kind of a church or something. It's called Pay to Pray, Chapel and Reliquary. Welcome to Pay to Pray. The relics of 3,600 different religions are housed here within our bank vault, secure, bulletproof prey pod. For a reasonable fee of 50 loonies, you can be put in the presence of a holy relic from a religion of your choice. Uh, from the Gorite Glory Tether to a Brebulon Saint's Spine, we guarantee a quality communion with an authentic relic, no matter how obscure your faith. Would you like to purchase quality time with our prey pod? Now, that's actually pretty interesting. And uh, and actually, it's not as, as nonsensical as it seems at first glance. Because, to be honest, uh, I think something like that could potentially work. Uh, obviously, with a whole galaxy of different religions, it would be difficult to provide uh, space for temples for each of them uh, so obviously there's limited space on all of those planets it's not like you have you, you can have 300 I mean 3600 different temples uh, so th this seems like a reasonable enough solution I guess mm. Uh, although, you know, I have a different perspective on that than a from a perspective of a truly religious person, it might be uh, sacrilege to, 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 to make a business out of something like that. Obviously, I don't really consider it in such terms because I am not a religious person myself. So for me, I simply do not have such a need to, 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 to even visit a temple. I, I do not profess any kind of religious faith, uh, and relics are, you know, they, they might hold historical value for me, but they, they do not hold, like, metaphysical value. I, I do not believe in miracles or things like that. Mm. So, so, you know, my perspective might be a bit different, but from my perspective it is kind of interesting. Uh, okay, I would like to purchase quality time with the prey pod just to see what it does. It's against the rule to allow a non-worshipper near a holy relic. Return here when you can present a proof of your faith. For example, a student of the school of order might present a holy prism as an evidence of his belief. Hmm. Actually, I do have a holy prism, right? Uh. Where is it? Mm. A six-sided meditation prism for Grampos can only be used in a place of reverence and meditation. So apparently Grampos himself is religious. Interesting. Welcome to Pay and Pray. Would you like to purchase quality time with our pay pod? I mean pray pod. I'll meditate with the hexagonal prism. What a dazzling prism. We graciously accept it as a valid proof of your involvement with the School of Order. Step up to the prey pod. A black cube of perfection will rotate into position shortly. Okay. Mm. My meditations have proven fruitful. Grampos has learned Heal Field. Okay, that's potentially very useful, just from the name of it. And very useful in combat. Um, some kind of a statue, which I can't interact with. And a door for employees only. Can I open it with a lockpick? Nope, only 10 seconds. So, 
that's not going to happen with my current level of lock picking. Uh, let's be on my way. Uh, I guess, but it was it was very much worth it to come here to get that additional ability. Mm. I think I'm done with with Vendomart for the time being, so let's get out and uh, continue exploring. Uh, what else is there? Can I get in here? Mm, no. Uh, Lounge of Commerce. I've been here. I'm I'm looking for drugs to drug a, 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 a um, you know a henchman working for Data to get some information out of him. Uh, but to do that, I need an apothecary or something. Send dormitory. Not a lot of room, but a lot of rooms. Okay. Uh, I'm tra but trader bot norm. Wheel back or walk. Uh, again, I it's 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 mm, confusing to me because I don't know what any of those items do. So I'm not going to buy any of them for the time being, unless specifically requested to by some other quest or a character. Should I grow a moustache? Oh wait, you want a chamber, don't you? Two bags a piece. An extra bag gets you a pillow. Okay, so so it's a hmm. You want a chamber, so it's a capsule cook hotel or something like that. Sure, I'll take one with a pillow just to see if it gives me anything. Uh, maybe an additional quest or something, or just a short animation. Okay, so it didn't really give me anything. Can we talk? Should I shave between my eyebrows? Oh wait, you want a chamber, don't you? Well, I don't. No problem, creep. Wait, what, what was so creepy about that? I don't really know. Okay, so, so it is a capsule hotel, uh, although what's interesting is that the capsules don't even seem to have doors, which is weird, like they, they, they are not covered, so everyone can see you inside, which is a bit nonsensical, like it wouldn't add much costs to, to cover it. I just had a nightmare. The stars were, f were falling. The universe was in flames. This is the seventh nightmare this month. I am so scared. My dreams come true most of the time. That's why something big is going down soon. I can feel it deep inside, in the place where dreams come from. Of course, I could be wrong, but I doubt it. That's what why I picked uh, up some nifty com cosmic wristbands while I was at on Krapton. Just in case. <laughs> I'm not sure what, what a cosmic wristband even is. I just dream dreamed that I slipped out of my sleep chamber and fell down the shaft. That was harsh. Mm, okay. Mm, can I talk with anyone else? That. I guess whatever it is, I can't really interact with it for the time being. I didn't find one important artifact on Brebula. I can't return to the archaeology department on Sunder empty-handed. They will call me a failure. 
You don't think they will put me in the rain rainbow security with the heretics, do you? Yes, I've got the ticket to sun to Sunder. Now leave me alone. I'm not in talking mood. Okay, so I theoretically could get a ticket from him? Mm. Maybe I can... So, you don't want to give me your ticket, huh? I understand. You're worried sick and you haven't made up your mind one way or the other. That's fine. I mean, I hate to bother you while tra trying to make such a big decision. It's just that you remind me so much of my sister. My sister, Lucille. You would have loved the hell out of her. Hell, half my hometown did. Often more than once. <laughs> okay. She was a young lady with a taste for the mundane, exotic and everything in between. She brought a home. She brought home a different boyfriend to the family dinner every night. She especially had a soft stop spot for you, Cordickens. She said that something about your solitary eye is excited the poet inside her. The real kicker was when she brought a home a brebulon for, for dinner. I have never seen my mother drink more Gorian wine. She could barely look at the kid, which was a real shame considering what an interesting lad he turned out to be. I must admit. Even I had a hard time keeping my meal. I kept envisioning my, what my sister was going to do with him later that night. I'm not sure how my sister would tolerate the mechanics of it, but class bless her. If anyone was going to experiment, it was her. I think she just wanted to lay down with every type of alien in the galaxy, just to say she had. I think our little, little Brebulon was just another check on her very long list. And although it was a short-lived affair, she dated him long enough to infect us all with the love of Brebulon cinema. He was especially a sucker for the Brebulon New Wave movement. He introduced us, us to, the world, to the works of Karem, Kafur Taya and Rodago. He made us appreciate a film aesthetic based purely on aliquo, aliquo camera lenses, which produce a moving cubist imagery. Uh, Rodago was the first to use uh, Kiraskuro filters and cubist lenses to a great effect in his landmark film, Spike 435. I don't know if you've ever seen any Brebulon cinema, but the interplay of light and shadow, fragmented color schemes and Doppler editing techniques makes for highly charged filmmaking. Uh, Tofur Taya took the concept of splinter theory to the next degree with her groundbreaking film, Pincher Crab Next. Their use of indiscreet color tones and radical shutter techniques revolutionized the Brebulon film industry. These days, just about every film in Brebula features uh, fracture editing and trilateral focusing, but it wasn't until Karem's depth size photography, photography in the milestone film Razma that... Here, take my ticket to sender, please. Just go. Goodness. Okay. I've given you what you wanted, please go. Okay, so I, I have one, right? And I need two. Because I guess I do not need a ticket for the bot, because it doesn't count as a sentient creature that needs ticket. Uh, tickets. It's, it's my possession, basically. Uh, okay. I really like the fact that Grandpa's special ability is just complaining so hard that people give him what he wants. I, I find the concept hilarious and, and I realize that's fully the point. So good job on that. And it's, it's nice that they actually, you know, they actually made the effort to write uh, all of his rambling. It's not like you use the ability and... Uh, you know, and, and whatever you want just happens. Or like there's a random uh, short animation of him beginning to complain. They actually write the whole dialogue of him beginning a long tirade, which is really nice. Okay, what's that? Pumping station. So I'm here, I'm probably going to go here last. Uh, because that's where I need to go, according to... According to the guy that that, that makes uh, mm, counterfeit tickets. 
Uh, that's Warren Whedon. He's leading a pseudo religion whose faith is in money and currency, their god. What else is new, right? He's trying to recruit converts but by speaking free today, but look out, once he gets his meat hooks into you, he'll string you along until you're in the poor house. What crackpot? Hey, you interested in investing in BP Dream Meat? Uh, okay, that's also disturbing because it has been established that BP Dream are sentient, uh, but they are kept as slaves and it turns out they might as well also be eaten? Which is like an overkill of horribleness. Uh, can you not interrupt while I'm speaking? Well, to be honest, I would like to listen to you speak. Mm, but I guess I do not have the chance. So, you know. Okay, so, so I will explore the ground level. If the pumping station uh, is here. Then I will go down and explore the things on this level. Hmm, can't get in here. Okay, hmm, center station golds the looks, palatial royal penthouse suits. Okay, that's a mouthful. Can't get into the elevator. And this is the center station gold deluxe palatial royal penthouse suits. We are not known throughout the galaxy for the luxury and majesty of our suits. I doubt it's doubtful you can afford a room here. Our cheapest suit costs 2,553 loonies. Okay, I'm not going to spend the money on something like that. Because that would be all of my money, pretty much. Mm. I've got a ticket for the next uh, brain train to Thunder. It's a very important work there that needs to be done. I just wish I could concentrate. My brother was married this weekend and it got me thinking. I have three Einstein awards in cyber dimensional science. I've extrapolated the formula for cybernetic superconduction. I've discovered 12 different circuit fusion particles and they are all named after me. But will I ever discover love? Sometimes I wish I could just stay here and never go back to Sander. I would love to have an adventure or build a ho house or fall in love. I'm just an old daydreamer. Never mind me. <laughs> can can Grampus convince him to, uh, to ditch his science work and find love through incessant yammering? Okay, he, 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 he can't. Although it seemed like a prime opportunity, but apparently not. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, found a lovely rose. Maybe I can... Hmm. What am I supposed to do with that? Hmm. A rose you got from Dr. Brywell at the Deluxe Palatial Suits. Okay, but what am I supposed to do with it? I don't quite know. Okay, this guy is floating. The Sender Station Gold Deluxe Palatial Royal Penthouse Suits are the ultimate luxury. Why, the Queen of Tezareth herself stayed in this hotel. The suits are ex exquisite. The aroma of wild Cluvian bayberries, considered the most fragrant flora in the galaxy, is pumped into every room. There are mirrors on the ceiling and pink champagne on ice. Uh, Chef Brozak specializes in Brebulan cuisine, delicious to even the most discriminating palate, and prepared from the hotel's very own herb garden. It is our attention to the smallest detail that makes this the finest of establishment. Would you like a job application? Okay, apparently I can't. However, there is still someone to talk to here. Uh, Mulafe, we were roommates in college. She was quite a talented artist in those days. I often wonder why she's throwing her life away on a bartending job. Yeah, I've got a job for you if you're interested. 
nothing too strenuous. I recently acquired a piece from a Brebulon Ark collector. He neglected to include a certificate of authenticity, which I assumed he had included in the exchange. He's leaving the sender station tonight, so we need to find him soon. Can you locate him and get me the papers providing the authenticity of the piece? His name is Hermano. Find Hermano, the Brebulon uh, art collector here on the sender station and bring back papers documenting the authenticity of the piece. Okay, to be honest, unfortunately, I wasn't paying that much attention to what everyone is called. Uh, your kidneys? Yeah, can you believe it? They are not filtering out all the right stuff or something. I mean, this could be bad. Jeez. When did our bodies start falling apart like this? Maybe you should stop drinking. It's my kidneys that are my that are broke, Dance, not my liver. Mm. Okay. So his name is Hermano, you say. As I said, unfortunately I wasn't paying attention to people's names. Uh, so that might be a bit problematic. <laughs> this is goat knife. Uh, maybe he's the one near the exit. Oh, can't talk to this guy. Mm, I haven't checked the the pumping station. The detective wants me to. I will check this part because she said. He's leaving soon, right? Albert Spencer. Aron Cow. Aegis Witherman. Those are the the, the meatles. The brain train to Sunder. I think you're out of luck, fellas. First of all, credentials from the Scientifica Association are required in order to get past the security door. But that shouldn't be a problem for you, since you're credentialed scientists, right? Your biggest problem is the ticket taker beyond the security door. Since all flights this month are sold and booked, getting on board seems extremely remote. Lastly, you will have to face the infamous Brain Bouncer. He makes sure you really have the smarts what it takes to uh, it's the smarts it's take, it takes for Sander by asking you a question, a series of very uh, difficult questions. If you can't answer them, you ain't going. Okay. Can I hack this? Hmm. I think I need Scientifica Association credentials before I can override this baby. Where could I get some inside science know-how? Okay, I think there's a building that refers to that name. Mm. But I'm looking for this Hermano guy. I'm not quite sure where is he. Well, let's keep looking. Uh, Sender Station Theoretical Science. Uh, something. Welcome to Sender Station Theoretical Science Museum. Science Data Center. Okay. Museum hours. Open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday to Saturday. Closed on Sundays. 
new exhibits, TSM is proud to show off some of the most shocking, amazing inventions of the past few hundred years. Anti-gravity ring, far beyond common minor field repulsion, the Grand Tanta experiment slash tragedy on Democratus is shielded in secrecy, yet a city floats in the sky, a true example of actual large-scale anti-gravity, in uh, inertial dampening, while the nature of the uh, Tarzewski radiation shields is well known, the problem of inertial dampening was thought to be unsolvable. No one thought that Carbon Fizisco, who, who invented it as a solution, no, no one told that to Garben Fizisco, who invented it as a solution for a railgun based amusement park ride. Uh, f uh, Fotakian trans trans Transceiver. Uh, by far the oldest piece in our collection, the first uh, instant instantaneous radio was a landmark of science, though impractical for large-scale commercial communication beyond the system level. Uh, Tachyon Decay Detector, this revolutionary and radical, rev revolutionary and radical device could detect the, re the negative age of particles, i.e. how far in the future was their origin point. See next month's display, Mystic Mayhem, for the history of how the inventor ventured off into questionable science after this invention. Come and join us for the wonder. Okay, founders. TSM was founded in 2697 by two individuals with the sight and vision, Riftin Calagus and Shagara Bin. Riftin Calagus, the head of Calagus Industries and inventor of the first uh, lingu linguator. Linguinator, Dr. Calagus was known in many circles as Dr. Unbubble for breaking down the language barrier before the between the galactic races. Shigara Bin, the founder of the first colony on, on Sunder and one of the galaxy's leading theoretical physicists, Shigara's goal was to reach the masses with the latest advances in science. With her dream realized, she promptly disappeared and we never heard from her again. But her legacy lives on. Board and Benefactors Board Members Agran K, Da X, Waffering MM Benefactors Ap G, Ali B, Amble W, Carusco T, Cordicom Digital, DDDFFW, Data, Interesting, uh, Fastfus P, Gaul Gaul K, Mini B, Jaromero A, Joe B, KK Karaka, Lumbato, blah, blah 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 blah. Okay, that's not particularly fascinating to read all of those alien names. And TSM database. Okay, I can't access that. Uh, could he maybe? Do you wish to download the TSM database? Yeah, I do. Unbelievable botany. Mathematic cognition, alien archaeology, staggering statistics, 
computational conundrums, scientific credential specs, organized chaos theory, chemistry capos, geology, more than rocks. Hey, I downloaded the entire science database, I've got the scientific credentials, and I'm smarter than you now. Okay. Okay. Uh, he can't know. He won't know. You promise? I promise. Where is he? At the hotel. Does he suspect? Why would he? He can never know. He will never know. Do you love me? Hey, do you mind? Okay. Mm, okay, so this is the actual museum space, I guess. Grand vision floating in air. Anti-gravity ring. Uh, far beyond the capabilities of a common minor field repulsion, the anti-gravity technology employed by Democratons on the two rings encircling their planets was modified for the great tan uh, for the great tantassel experiment it was a daunting task made worse by the fact that the project would involve constant levitation of an incredibly large mass thereby um, exceeding the requirements of simply stabilizing a balanced system never before was such a feat has been implemented and certainly not to such a grand scale despite this massive undertaking Democratus was up to the challenge. Before long, Tanta Tantasil was finally completed with catastrophic results. Uh, the Grand Vision, long renowned for their impressive technological advancements, the inhabitants of Democratus once again had the Grand Vision to construct magnificent, uh, magnificent twin cities floating among the clouds above their homeworld. Uh, whether they were motivated by the noblest of intentions or just plain hubris remains uncertain, yet no one can deny that the remarkable efforts eventually made Stantasil a reality. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, oh, this is Hermano. Documents of authenticity, but I don't remember making any sales this week. Oh no, I'm quite mistaken. There was that landscape I practically gave away to, Conte to La Contessa Schieferstein the other day. I didn't include the documentation. How odd. That's standard procedure. How unprofessional of me. Why don't you check with my assistant? He's watching my bags at gate 2 in the center station station. Okay. Uh, inertial dampening, a fan hands-on experience. Let's watch an internal dampener in action. This experiment is similar to the construction of Garben Fizisco's original amusement park ride, now only legal on Hephaestus. When you press the button, the mechanical arm flings the iron ball into the air, but it doesn't fly away. Instead, its inertia is all gobbled up by the antipolarity, inducing micro internutrino chromomagneto dissonance producing inertial dampening field. The iron ball then falls harmlessly back into place. Press the button for a demonstration. Okay. Oh, I am pressing the button. Hmm. Let's try that again. Um, okay, I, I, I saw how it works. So it basically stops the moment, like it eliminates the momentum. Like the, 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 there is the, the, the dampening field, and it shoots the ball, and it should fly through, but it doesn't. But I'm not quite sure, uh, you know, how activating it works. Like I am clicking on it, and sometimes, yeah, you can see it stops in mid air and falls down. Travel through senders without inertial dampening with inertial dampening mm. oh so I didn't really think about it uh, but I guess it's used okay I'm really annoyed by the sound uh, in the background but I guess it's used to stop ships because obviously in space there is no friction so uh, when you are shot through this uh, sender spike 
uh, at incredible speeds uh, you would never stop or you would uh, or you would need an enormous amount of energy an enormous amount of fuel for the back burners to eventually stop you uh, but obviously that would take you way past your original destination so i guess i, I guess they use those dampener uh, you know uh, inertial dampeners to stop you uh, after you exit you know uh, at, uh, at the other location uh, coming soon my stick mysterium okay back in time tachyon particles the theory tachyon decay detector Can I not read about it? Would be nice. But it doesn't look like it. The concept of time travel has been around for centuries, most notably as a subject of countless science fiction stories. Unfortunately, there is no practical way to travel to the past, and the sheer physics involved in such a venture have relegated time travel to the ranks of imaginary science. Nevertheless, a small yet, small yet vocal group of scientists insists that traveling through time will indeed be quite possible someday, and they believe that the key to unlocking the mysteries of time might very well be found in the study of tachyon particles. Okay, mm, and then there is this. Whoever is running the museum should think of filling the walls with antique weapons that always bring the crowds. Uh, brings the crowds, okay. A distance problem, the solution. A phototachyon transreceiver. Okay, I, I, uh, the phototachyon transreceiver on display is by far the oldest piece in the museum's collection, dating back to the early part of the 3rd millennium AD. Its origin is directly linked to the tragic story of Endeavour, a scientific vessel on a five year journey exploratory mission destined to end in calamity. Three years into its ill-fated mission, the Endeavour was, knock was knocked off course by a passing meteor shower, and many of the ship's onboard systems were damaged as a result, including most of its navigation equipment. Unable to enact repairs or rectify their flight path, the damaged vessel sent a distress signal back to Earth while spiraling helplessly along the new course. Air scientists were horrified when their projection, projections estimated uh, that the Endeavour's altered course now placed them in a direct path with a super congested asteroid field and certain death. Scrambling to find a means by which to, to alert the Endeavour's crew of the impending danger, the greatest scientific minds of the planet transmitted a radio message to the doomed vessel with detailed instructions outlining how to realign the ship's trajectory. But by the time the message arrived, it was too late. The Endeavour has already ploughed prow, prow first into the giant asteroids. There were no survivors. Okay, this is a very interesting thing, uh, I guess, about, about communication in space, because, uh, you know, it's so slow that, like, in this case, you know, this is, this is a story about communication being so slow that it's basically pointless because whatever instructions you receive uh, at such a great distance is probably not going to be useful at the point where you receive them. Uh, and in fact, that's something that, that, that generally applies to the observation of space, right? Because even with the speed of light, the, the, the universe is such a big place that most of those, you know, really distant stars or like other galaxies, we are actually watching them like kind of in the past. They might not even exist at the point because the, tra the light, you know, travels back for such a long time to reach our, uh, you know, observation equipment that the current situation of those stars it might be totally different, but we won't know for, you know, hundreds or thousands of years. Uh, beca because uh, it's, like a, it's like a lag, you know? It's like a lag in a video recording, basically. Except it's not a video recording, it's reality. It's a reality is lagging, kind of. Um, I think that's the data link for maintenance and diagnostic bots. 
Okay, so what you're telling me is that I can't interact with it. Mm, let's get out. That background hum was rather annoying. Mm. Okay, anything else on this level? Hmm. I don't think so, so I will go back to Sender Station Station uh, to talk with the assistant. Hmm. He said at gate 2, right? Between you and me, those Bipidri are surprisingly good hunting. Okay, so that's not this one. Certificate of Authenticity for the Shiverenstein sale. Just a moment, I shall check my master's baggage. This isn't it. This isn't it either. Neither is this. Nope, not this one. Here it is. Oh wait, that's not it. How about this one? Nope. It must be here somewhere. Is this it? No. What about this one? Yeah, here it is. Oh, wait, that's not it. Uh, yeah, no, this is it. Here you go, sorry about that. Uh, okay. So, I think I'm ready to go to the pumping station. Because that's the last area I have not explored. So, let's do that. Have I talked with this guy? Hmm. Give me a bug and I'll let you on in a little secret. Here is a bug. This better be good. Thanks, man. Here's the secret. You know the, ro the door right around the corner? Well, it leads to the pumping station 7, but if you break left instead of right, uh, there's a gate there that leads to the row tubes, the center station's underground substructure. If you take the row tubes all the way down into the core, you will find a secret red light district where you can party till dawn. Uh, I've probably been to the red light district more times than you have, than you have, my buddy. Why don't you tell us something you don't know, that we don't know? Oh, well, did you know that the root hoops are infested with drug runners these days? It has become quite a little drug route ever since Duke Deuce lost the Gorian drug wars a few months ago. And with all of the heating ducts, it's hotter than hell. The leather just seems to soak all the, head, he, all, all the heat right up. So there you have it. How was I supposed to know you already knew about the red light district? It's not my fault you were dumb enough to give me a dollar. Okay, I don't really mind. Like, a dollar isn't really that big of an investment. Uh, pumping station 7 access, okay. Hmm. Bugs are crawling on this thing. Man, I don't like bugs much. They creep me out. And those are the bugs that have to eat my cereal. I still don't know what's up with, with, with this. This this anthill or something. It appears from time to time. Uh, oh, actually I don't really need the time minders. Because as I demonstrated, uh, it is fully possible to, to save manually. I'm trade about Rollo. Well, still don't know what any of those does, so I'm not going to buy any for the time being. Okay. was a wrong place to move into. Oh, 
Oh, that's certainly a attack. A attack. Uh. Okay. I'm supposed to photograph anything that's out of the ordinary in this place for the de for the detective. But I don't really see anything like that. Doesn't really look like it. I wasn't expecting fighting pipes. That's quite a powerful attack. <laughs> I'm supposed to photograph suspicious things in this area, but to be honest, I didn't see any. Okay, I better heal Grampus, just in case uh, there's a fight. Mm. 
sleek gentleman, looking verily for the flavored goods, your eyes wide for, for consumption. Uh, okay, so uh, I can buy a, a ticket from him and I can also uh, buy the drug that I need to um, to make Data's henchman fall asleep. So I will buy both. I can afford it. Tickets to sender. Fortunate slash unfortunate. Only one. Purchase for mere 250 loonies. Sold. No, no refunding. Okay. But also, a sporific wonder dust for sleepiness in drink. Excellent. Dissolve and quickly in alcohol. No taste. No color. Rain will wander until it sleeps. Mm, you don't know what you're missing out on. Well, I do know because uh, I've bought everything you offered. Bugs are crawling on that thing. But, wait, he said to turn left instead of right or something like that? To, to read, to, to reach, to reach the red light district? But where was that point? Like, I presumed from the way he said it, it was somewhere near the entrance, but, uh... I didn't see any fork in the road. Hmm. Right instead of left, maybe. Because this is left and this would be right, but... How would I get past this guy? Is there like a connection port or something? Hmm. There has to be a way, right? Is there still the quest for the detective? There's also this, which also seems kind of suspicious, if you ask me. care of the other quests, the one with the certificate of authenticity and the one with Deta's henchmen, and after that I will decide what to do about this. It's not here. Mm. It's in the lounge of commerce. Here. Hmm. Why doesn't it work? Okay, so. It was him, right? Tight work, man. 
Sip him the dragon before he leaves. Okay. Really? You'll buy me a drink? You hear that girl? This trend says he'll buy me a drink. I'll put it on his tab. Here you go, Ace. Down the hatch. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is some strong paint. Man, it has been a day. Quite a day. One of those days. One of them long days. It's hard, you know, having to face those businessmen. You know they all think you're a chump before, because you work for Deta. Some of them play it off. Most of them are rude. Hey, this is some good swill. Thanks again. Deta, he's... He ain't such a bad egg. He took us in, Alvin and the rest of us clones. He treats us like people, you know. That Deta's got a big heart. He's even nice to the floaters. He appreciates talent. Doesn't matter if someone got wings or if someone's a clone. Not, not, not only am I a clone, I've got a big metal fist. Holy class, I'm almost done with my drink. It ain't easy, you know, when you're a clone. You're all different people, you know. That's what... That's what... That's what no one understands about us at all. Are... Are you warbling? I hope he isn't dead. Uh, well, looky here, there was a note inside his pocket. Mm, Shorty's note. Okay, what does it say exactly? Uh, held in the envelope and emblazoned with the, with the big D. Okay, I cannot read this, so I presume I have to give it back to this guy. Now let me have a look at that note. Interesting. Data has got some business with someone on Sunder named Cuvin. Hmm, too bad we don't have any un agents on Sunder. Can't seem to get anyone past the Brain Bouncer character. Hell, we even have a keyword to make contact. Gemini. Oh well, at least Data won't be getting whatever Cuvin's delivering. Mm, I'm going to pass the word about Gemini, Gemini and Cuvin. Little good it will do us. But at least Deta won't be getting whatever Cuvin's delivering. Well, actually, I am going to uh, to, the, to Sunder myself, so I might take care of this uh, for them. Mm. And the other thing, the other thing I was supposed to do uh, is the certificate of authenticity, right? Which is, mm, I think she's in the suites. Uh, at the lower floor. Yeah, right here. Uh, is this a joke? This is an old dry cleaning bill. Were you unable to obtain the certificate of authenticity? Oh. Oh, I've gotten duped. That's kind of my fault, because I didn't really check what it was when he gave it to me. And maybe it even, even, it even said the name, and I wasn't paying attention. Now, where was the guy? I think he was at the museum? I, I wonder if he's still here, or if he, if he has skipped town. Check me with my assistant for a certificate. Yeah, but I did, and he duped me. Sorry, did I give you the old dry cleaning bill? I thought it was the certificate. Just a moment, here it is. It was stuck to the back of the dry cleaning bill. Sorry about that, sucker. Okay, Boots got certificate of authenticity. I think this should be... Uh, this should be it. Finally.
That's exactly what I was looking for. Good work. Okay, she only paid me 50 bucks. Um, visit my gallery next time you're, uh, you're on Cordica. I never forget a face. Oh, but it might actually lead to something. If I ever visit Cordica, it might lead to another quest. So it's good that I did that. And I am going to end this episode soon enough. I'll just position myself near the pumping station, because I would still like to take a look at that once again before I leave this place to, to, to determine whether I can get into the red light district. I really think I should be able to, because losers weepers... What? What, that, uh, what does that even mean? Uh, because they were talking about that, and I'm still supposed to help the detective. But, mm, this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to save here and end it for now. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.